This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, April 9, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows slight rain over southern Ontario with more moderate system from Toronto north to Sudbury and Ottawa. Current tropospheric movement shows this area to be of concern for possible fallout, and the risk moves eastward with the rainfall into Montreal on Monday night and Quebec on Tuesday. In the U.S., Current radar on IntelliCast shows light scattered rain in the Pacific Northwest and Upper Midwest, with stronger storms over New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma. There is scattered rain and snow in northern New England. Tropospheric convection shows there is a concern for fallout potential in northern Texas and Oklahoma, where rain will continue for the next 48 hours. New York State, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine should also avoid precipitation. In Europe, Current radar from Meteo France shows rainfall in Ireland, the UK, France, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany as atmospheric moisture bands are passing through Europe from northern France and the coastal regions of the North Sea towards Denmark and Scandinavia. There is fallout potential for these areas as well as fallout from possible French reactor problems. Also the methane clouds from the well problem for Denmark which is ongoing. Nuke report. At the Oconee Nuclear Power Plant in South Carolina, they continue to have testing done on its cooling system leaks, and additional analyses are being performed to assess Unit 2's operability. At the Hatch Nuclear Power Plant in Georgia, they lost power to their emergency siren systems over the weekend, but it has been restored. At the Susquehanna Nuclear Power Plant in Pennsylvania, valves were determined to be leaking during a refueling process which is currently undergoing repair. Susquehanna also reported a secondary problem of a contaminated worker that required emergency treatment at a local hospital. There is no word on this worker's condition. The Farley nuclear power plant in Alabama, a loss of a startup transformer was found secondary to a trip in the high voltage switchyard. Investigation revealed a technical inaccuracy in the instructions used during maintenance activity and at the Palisades nuclear power plant in Michigan, residents near the plant complained of a loud discharge of steam which the site claims is associated with its plant shutting down. There is no indication from the report if the steam is radioactive or not. Links to the various meteorological resources used for this forecast as well as for earth and sky tools and radiation monitors in Japan, the U.S. and Europe can be found at fukushimafacts.com. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.